is it a okay. him problem or a me problem? It's a under advice. Me, 18 okay. female and my boyfriend, 20 male, have been dating for about mm -hmm. four months. We met a year ago at an art gallery and reconnected on Instagram shortly before we began that, uh, dating. Both still live with our parents. This is my first real relationship in two years since being cheated on. Truma noted down. Mm. Uh, I like to tell myself I am scared of getting close to my new boyfriend's family because leaving my ex's family behind was very hard for me. I've met my current boyfriend's moms once at a family dinner, and the whole week prior, I felt sick. I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, and was extremely anxious. I never have problems meeting parents because I'm usually curious to see what the other person's family is like. I nearly took a Valium to calm down beforehand. I hyperventilated in the car the whole way there, and just had this horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. His siblings were there as well, but we didn't get a chance to talk to talk as they were at the other end of the table. I spoke to his moms mostly, and they were very nice. However, as I was leaving the dinner, I got a migraine, and I felt like I never wanted to do it again. His moms kept asking, uh, keep asking to see me, and I'm just so sick to my stomach with anxiety. I cannot bring uh, bring myself to do it, and I keep refusing. I know they like me, so I'm not quite sure where this is coming from. Uh, it's the de it's the debilitating anxiety that makes me feel like I cannot leave my bed. I haven't had this problem before, and I'm actually I'm usually amazing with parents. Uh, I told myself this was my fear of growing close to them, but I'm thinking it's just him. I feel the same thing with him interacting with my family. Uh, it makes me nauseous and feels like I cannot breathe. He's great with talking to people, so I literally cannot figure out why I'm feeling like this. This is quite literally driving me insane, and I feel like I'm going crazy. This has never happened to me before. So, what do you think? Hmm, it sounds like she's still close to the previous family and feeling like she's betraying them. Or being a burden. Like, oh gosh, betraying the old family that I used to love, been spending time with, you know. Then I understand change is some something difficult for people mm -hmm. to have, especially meeting new parents. This is, I understand where she's taking, you know, the medication to calm down. And it sounds like she has anxiety problems to begin with. Mm hmm. But um, it does take some time to get, you know, back in the swing with things, especially with newer parents. But yeah, she she can't, you know, push away her current boyfriend parents because, you know, like, oh, gosh, because uh, it's. The sense of dread, like, oh gosh, what if I break up with this one and and what their parents still like me, you know, like the like the last uh, relationship. It's just it's more of the dread of what's going to happen in the future if it happens. It's the uh, the fear of the unknown is what's bringing her down. Mm. Okay, so, okay, this is fun. Um, cause, uh, when I first read this post, I skim it through before I put it on slides. I know, I try to not do that too often, cause like, it might make my brain start cooking something, you know? <laughs> yeah. But when I read her, um, description about how the body reacts to it, mm -hmm. It's as if I'm the one who's writing this, you know? Like... Yeah, and the, the sense of dread. Yeah, and like the whole... My stomach go ori, go nausea, and have stuff like that. It's... Okay, so... I know it's... uh, It might not be relatable for some people, but I believe I'm one of these people called... uh Highly sensitive people. Are you familiar with that? 
hypersensitive yes yeah so basically like it's a it's a good thing that is scientific thing i actually just found a psychologist who are actually uh into that like she does research for that and stuff and yeah it's all basically since i was born my brain is just wired that way to be to have mm. a more sensitive nervous system so i do tend to trust my gut feelings a lot because most of the time it's true mm. heck actually it's kind of a funny story but i found about my ex uh cheating on me because of my gut feelings and actually had the dream what i need to do to discover it you know so i had the dream that i need to check his phone and the dream actually told me the password and stuff yeah some <laughs> yeah interesting isn't it mm. yeah that that's how me. yeah <laughs> it's spoopy uh stuff going on but yeah i had that gut feelings and i know that when i really really don't want to do things and i really really shouldn't do it i have this this whole like stomach uh, ups, uh upset stomach migraine etc because uh it did happen before as well at work uh basically i try to change to another field and then because i don't have the degree for it i need i needed to do internships right then at mm. some point i did have a chance to go full time but then midway they decided to feel like i'm not good enough or something so i asked if they have like any Michael! Inter- oh it spooked me matt <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah basically uh i asked i actually was the one asking for the internship opportunity but when it actually started my body just threw itself like inside out you know yeah uh dad brought up a point of she has too many expectations of what a relationship with her new in-laws would be instead of allowing the relationship develop organically mm. and uh hyper sensitive people are also or s hsp is mm. also linked to adhd and autism yeah i need to get that checked to be very honest <laughs> <laughs> but... well the thing is i'm on i am on diagnosed uh adhd so i mm. need to get that checked out and see what <laughs> level i am at because there's it goes by a star system mm. like one through five stars and the more stars you have it's it just gets more complex ah then yeah when you have less stars it's 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 minimal you know it's more you more of a person than instead of you know just masking mm-hmm. yeah i do need to get back to now that you mention it <gasps> now actually i'm more intrigued than anything now so it's good <laughs> <laughs> i'm like oh something new about myself the more i know about myself mm-hmm. the more uh, the better it feels i feel like so yeah this is it that we all need melly's dream powers uh i'd rather not have it because sometimes when i have something so vivid i wonder like if this is the truth or what it, it's giving me a lot of anxiety sometimes but yeah at that time it really helped but i was a kid i was a dumb kid okay so i stayed anyway <laughs> in the relationship for a while <laughs> But yeah, that's a story for another day. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, I feel like there is a reason why OP is feeling this way. And like, yeah, sure, in a way, she needs to get over it. But at the same time, before she gets over it, I feel like she needs to figure out. She, she needs to dig deep. Not just within herself, but within the... Whatever is this... Cause it's weird like if she's just uh feeling so attached with the access family and stuff right mm-hmm. why does she feel the same way when the guy is meeting her parents so maybe deep inside she kind of feel like something is off with this guy i'm dating but you know maybe i don't wanna yeah maybe partly it's trauma because of cheating and stuff mm-hmm. 
But then partly it's oh. also cause like you know yeah there's something something else is going on that she's been like putting aside cause you know being in a partnership feels good and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I do believe that there's something deeper into this. Yeah. Especially with the parents, like her parents, she's like, "Oh, what happened to that one boy? You know, you were hanging out with. What happened?" Hmm. And it just opens up a can of worms, and you're like, oh god, how do I explain, like, this image of this boy I was dating, where it, he, they only saw this nice and sweetness, you know, mm. and he ended up cheating on me. And actually, four months in meeting parents, isn't it too fast? Mm-hmm. Is it, is it, or is it not? Um, <laughs> I'm a very blunt person, so <laughs> I say what I need to say. Mm-hmm. Especially if you if you're someone older than I am, but like younger, I would tell I would tell you what's what. But I feel I'm like, like okay, I uh huh, sorry, and I'll be like, okay, I will say my actions, and I will suffer the consequences <laughs> because it, the truth needs to be told. It feels like, but it really feels like four months dating and then you meet parents. Isn't it too speedy? Isn't, are they rushing something? No, so there's there's a phase, there's a thing called the honeymoon phase. People, like, they get, ooh, this is new, this is nice, and, you know, they rush things instead of, you know, taking the time to, uh, um, to express one another, to get to know each other, mm. you know, deep down more. But they're more into the honeymoon phase than anything. Which is... Because it's new, forensic, it's nice, it's neat. Which is why I wonder, like, which is why I feel like all the more that she needs to dig into this. Because if she's in a honeymoon phase and she already had this bad of a gut feeling, it's a bit you know mm-hmm. right uh someone in my chat says four months that sounds about right oh yeah mm. Mm. well come to think of it i also met my mother in law quickly but yeah it's because i play uh i come to my husband's house sometimes to play and yeah we meet so yeah we never had mm-hmm. like the formal arranged dinner or something like that especially in the beginning mm-hmm. But damn. Uh, maybe it's a bit long depending on how far the parents are from the partner. Mm. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, because they still live with their partner uh, with their parents anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Cause from what it sounds like it's like, well I live with them and if something happens, I'm gonna hear about it all the goddamn time. Oh, there's that too. That part is relatable for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe I should look into this post again and see if uh, OP say anything more and update you on that shadows. <laughs> okay. But like with someone with this kind of weird, kind of disturbing gut feelings, I do feel like maybe something's wrong with the guy. I don't want to put blame on anyone, but at the same time, maybe something is wrong or like something doesn't sit right somewhere. That's my feeling. And the thing is, uh, there's a thing called women's intuition. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, a special gift. Don't ever waste it. Yep. And actually, like having HSP and woman intuition hand in hand is very, it's too much sometimes, but yeah. It works. It helps. Mm-hmm. Knowing sometimes that gut feeling is wrong, mm-hmm. but it's it survival skills kicking in. Yeah, just keep an open mind. Listen to both uh, gut feelings and take in as much reality as you can. I would say. Mm-hmm. But yeah, ba- back on the question: Is it a him problem or a me problem? I'm it's leaning <laughs> I'm leaning on a him problem too, actually. But yeah. 
Interesting. But she's more handovered on the the uh, uh the cheating part from what I'm reading. Mm. And she, you know, she was uh attached to her his parents. For me, I guess I just... okay. Sorry. And uh she doesn't want it again because sometimes in life um uh, history likes to repeat itself. Mm. For me, I'm hung up on the second paragraph that say that I like to tell myself I am scared of getting close because leaving my ex-family was hard. I like to tell myself, the part where she say I like to tell myself is like, you know, she has this gut feelings and then she try to justify it instead of really, really being honest with herself and finding the answer. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like she needs to dig into it. Yeah, so it's a her problem. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess, but I I feel like if it's a uh, the cause of the gut feeling, it might be the guy. I would say. But you gotta remember, it's not always right. True. It's like eighty percent, maybe seventy five percent. True. Yeah, and it's harming her health physically. So yeah, figure it out, Opi. I'm scared. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But things will be okay. <laughs> Just take it slowly. Yeah. Don't rush. We believe in OP.